EMP has been playing, this is anybody's game. No easy matches going forward. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. And as far as what I would expect in tonight's matchup, um, EMP is very well known for being an aggressive runner. So if we see a marginal go stat situation at the end, he will certainly take it. And Metal Dream, I have less of a feel of what type of player he is, but basically I would default to saying that whoever EMP's opponent is, is very likely to be a bit more of a conservative runner. Oh, no question about it here. I mean, you, you look at these two matchups. Metal Dream is more of a, a newer runner in the circle, but has definitely made their mark in the Dragon Warrior Randomizer Tournament here in the quarterfinals. We are in the top half of this bracket here. So winner of this, obviously, there's only game number one. Whoever wins this best of three will take on either the number four seed Big Slamu or the number 21 seed Ziggy. And of course, when that happens, we'll see potentially a lot of hashtag beat slammers in chat. Oh, absolutely here. And uh, take a look at these numbers that these runners are starting with. Just seven strength, yikes. 12 agility, 21 HP, no magic, no spells, and a paltry seven attack power, six defense. So uh, this could be a slog of a start with for these runners, Omega. Yeah, they have just enough attack power to go after the slimes, red slimes, and drakeys of the world. But a lot of this start is going to hinge on whatever we see in the throne room. So I'm guessing if they were to know their stats, they would definitely want torches and fairy water and things like that. But we have an herb and we've got gold. So this is one of those decisions where when you push out of Tantagel, do you poke around a lot and hope for a town to get a copper sword, hand axe type of thing? Or do you just sit still and, oh, we got a swamp start. Yeah, I think you know what the answer is already. It's they're not going to be able to hang on to their gold. I mean, they have 21 HP and I've got a lot of swamp land to sell you, Omega. Yeah, so this is a comical start because you've got that little grass tile to the south that they can walk back and forth on, but they're going to take damage every other step. And look at this, we're right next to uh, Sherlock. Uh, you know what this is? This is another one of those Dragon Lord is playing their music way too loud seeds again. This is a this is a terrible place to build your castle. Uh, I have I have serious questions for Loric. I we agree. are gonna see a we are gonna Ooh. see Metal Dream for season. We can see a town and we can see a cave. And they did start with an herb. Now Metal Dream, when he started the seed, he rolled low on his gold. So if that town is not Hawksness, I could see a full reset happening. And that's exactly what EMP did. He saved his game before uh, resetting, and so he's got his 566 gold. But you're right. I mean, what if he had 700 some gold? Well, that's a back attack from a Magic Dragon. That's going to send Metal Dream back to start. And guess what? EMP also gets back attacked from a Magic Dragon, but he's able to escape. I have to use that herb right now. There is a cave, but I think he's gonna skip. He's not gonna skip the cave and he gets stopped by a Drakey, but he is able to run away and we have the freebie cave. This could be of importance here for our runners here. Let's take a look for EMP is gonna find a torch. Hey, that's gonna do uh, some chip damage. Yeah, so now if this town is Hawksness, I mean, you can slow grind torches, but Ooh, it coal. turns out to be coal. So oh. we have an immediate search happening. Yep, this one of the three gigantic. possible. Yes, it could be, Omega. Do we have anything here? We do. It is, of course, the tease. What else would it be, Omega? Fairy flute. Right. <laughs> so we've got... Ooh, a hand axe. He can afford the hand axe by six golds, Omega. you love to see it. So a very heads-up play for EMP. He saved his game with his initial gold roll and then pushed out to the east and meanwhile metal dream just keeps going south and trying to grind although now he's gonna finally push east and with the with the quality the player torch. he is with the quality player that metal dream is i fully expect him to walk nice. into that town see the hand axe and do a full reset that's gonna be a level up right there for emp he's gonna get level two which has two four eleven nine and repel Angel's favorite spell right there. Yeah, the repel this early stage of the game is not going to do us many favors. Uh, so uh, we were hoping for something better. Metal Dream's also going to get level two also. E 
even now, I think it's the right play for Metal Dream to do a full reset. Yeah, we'll see what Metal Dream has in mind once he sees Cole. So, uh, now, we call it Airdrick's Tease, but you do need Airdrick's token to get the rainbow drop. The object is to defeat uh, the Dragon Lord that's in Sherlock right next to Tantagel Castle. You need to have the token, you also have to have the Staff of Rain, and you have to have the Stones of Sunlight. To get the Staff of Rain, you must get the Silver Harp and find the trade-in cave where the old man will give you the Staff of Rain. Then you have to find what we affectionately like to call the Jerk Cave and get the rainbow drop from him. But you have to have all three items first before you can get the rainbow drop. EMP gets level three, nine, four, 16 HP, 12 MP, and we get a stop spell. Oh, and hurt more. Well, that's a jailbreak level. And now Metal Dream doesn't know it yet, but uh, buying the bamboo pole and grabbing torches is potentially gonna save him here yes because kaishino chigeki for emp taking down the droll there for a big 18 points that'll be another level four emp this is gonna be a level four seven one four three so yeah that uh, axe purchase is gonna get entirely negated by that hurt more spell omega and as we can see, Metal Dream is slow grinding the torches, which if you're not resetting for a hand axe, that is absolutely the right thing to do. All right, we find a cave on EMP's side and uh, grave maybe? Not entirely sure. Let's see what Metal does in here. Ah, oh, it's Swamp North. Ah, Swamp North. Ooh, EMP gets the uh, wolf down with that hurt more spell with four, zero, 11, one, just a bit outside. And Swamp Cave leads to the top left corner of the map and another cave. What do we have in this cave? It is the trading cave for Metal Dream where he can get his Staff of Rain once he finds the Silver Harp. So some good exploration here for Metal Dream. It's a bit of an interesting oh. decision to be pushing out this much at level two. Druin Lords have sleep and they have hurt. So they have the uh, artificial Wombo Combo Light. I'd tall, I would call that the time waster, Wombo. Yep, absolutely. So uh, Metal Dream's going to get sent back to start a Drakeem on EMP side. You need 12 to 16 HP, and that's definitely enough. That'll be another 20 points. I would fully expect a spike check shortly from EMP with Hurt More. It's the thing that makes sense in this situation. Looks like it's an armored knight. Not enough HP. Actually, you may have enough HP, but uh, without uh, the first strike, yeah, you're not going to be able to get the double Hurt More off. So back to start he goes. At 21 agility, your odds of going first are eh, basically coin flippy. But uh, in a tournament race where you're going up against the number one seed, it's more like a 5% chance. Magic Drakey down for Metal Dream, and that is going to be at level three for Metal Dream. He's going to get that all-important Hurt More spell. And a 100 XP gap right now really isn't significant with Hurt More. I mean, you just no. stumble into a couple things and you're instantly tied. You suppose EMP might try to do a AK-47 grind? Uh, I wouldn't try to do that. It's Your HP well, is on the low side. Your MP is also on the low six, side. 6290 is what we got on that level up there for EMP. So the little bonus in HP is nice. Wyvern's a good enemy, though, for uh, her more. That's 64 points. There's level four for Metal Dream. Hey, this Wyvern, definitely a good play here. Not, not so much when you get back attacked, however. So he does get the one shot, and that's going to be another 64 points. And Metal Dream, uh, well, he's going to be sent back to start. So Bao, he knows about the AK-47 grind here in Swamp. Now, the funny thing about this scenario is you have Hurt Orb, which is good, but you only have... 20 something MP, so you don't get to cast it very much. And every time you death warp, you have to walk through this annoying swamp and you don't have the ability to heal uh -oh. either. Oh, 
And EMP does get through the swamp. And he's going to find the trading cave. Metal, Dr Metal Dream going back towards the swamp cave, but runs into a magician. He'll go after it. Here's a droll for EMP, but he is back attacked, and he has 7 HP left. Is able to escape, sees a bridge, but there's swamp land, so he does not want to go that way until he's got a healing spell. Uh-oh, a blue dragon. Good luck running away. He does on 23 agility. My word. There's a druin lord. He'll go for the hurt more. Should be an easy one-hit kill. Got him. That'll be another 58 points, and that will be level 7 for EMP. The numbers, 10 power, 18 agility, no HP, just 1 MP, and we learn sleep. Still no healing spells, though. Well, the agility is, I mean, I know it's just a number, but it is kind of helpful. You generally target an agility mm. stat of around 40 to get away from things on the map. EMP There's an axe after the, oh, but he's gonna get back attacked. Otherwise, he could have gotten another 130 points. But back to start he goes. Tough break there for EMP. That's one of those volatility things. Whenever you're early on and you're trying to find the juiciest targets, axe knights they tend to back attack early on in the game, and you die yep. to them. Because the game knows. Level five now for Metal Dream. There's a Kaishin Ochigeki on the Magic Drinky for EMP, and that's going to be another 12 points. It's one of the reasons why top runners often prefer, like, mid-game grinds, like with Wolf Lords and such in the early stages, because you go first a lot more frequently against them, and you don't take all the deaths. All right, now EMP is going to uh, go to the back of Cole here, and it looks like he's going to make some purchases. I would imagine he wants herbs more than anything. Absolutely. And he could purchase a dragon scale if he wanted to to boost his defense by two. We'll see if he decides to make that play. He's got plenty of gold to do so. Metal Dream. He... Oh, Stone Man. And he's going to be sent back because they hit like a truck. If he does get the scale, I guarantee he'll equip it right away since I'm not tracking. Yep, there it is. We've got a dragon scale. And does he put it on? He does, so that is a bonus two defensive Told you. points. There you go. <laughs> All right, so EMP's done shopping here in Cole. Mads Drakey will take the 12. So will Metal Dream. Magician not so appealing on level 7 for EMP. A wolf is very much appealing, though. that flat coastline we might be pretty close to the east edge of the map with the start where it is well, metal dream's gonna go ahead and buy the copper sword here for 180 golds and he's gonna do the same thing he's gonna go to the back of coal it's very rare that you see runners go to the back of coal just because it's a big time sink but when you haven't found any other towns it's pretty much your only choice at this juncture yeah it's Desperate times call for desperate measures, and you have all this swamp around and no healing. It's it's totally defensible to walk around and grab herbs here. Are there any randos the Amazing Cards fan doesn't do commentary on? Well, there's a few, but I do I do a lot of randomizer commentary. You're right about that, Lana Bean. There's another wolf kill there for EMP, another 40 points. We need to get to 600 points to get to level 8 on EMP side. This droll will take us closer. And Metal Dream is out of coal. Looks like he's going to go back through the swamp yet again, but a Magic Drake is going to stop him for the time being. Another Droll. I'll take him to 5, 16, 84 points away is EMP to the level. Now, Tetris, that is a game I want to do a commentary for someday. Maybe someday. There's a Wolf Kill for EMP. There's a Golem on Metal Dream's side. He wants no part of this. Tetris has changed a lot over the past few years with the onset of the rollers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, because of that, there's now a separate tournament for uh, DAS players that just concluded over the weekend. Warlock goes down. Four more points for EMP will give him the level. And it looks like he's going to settle for grinding here for the time being. 
Look at this. Metal Dream trying to get the double hurt more off on the Armor Knight, and he succeeds. And that is going to give him some levels here. Two, five, six, 29 MP, and finally a healing spell for EMP. But those 29 MP are huge. Yeah, that is the most important level we've seen so far, other than the Hurt More level. I mean, it's just tons of MP, and you get that heal, so you don't have to do that painful Ooh, walk. Armor Knight's anymore. half heal. That's kind of annoying. Oh, a swing and a miss on the Hurt More. That hurts. And boy, you hit 49 damage. That hurts a lot, too. Is this going to be enough? It is enough for Metal Dream. That's another 150 points. He is rapidly gaining on EMP and the experience there, uh, Omega. Yeah, EMP made an interesting decision to grind in that desert on wolves when he has hurt more. Um, Metal Dream just went straight to the spike. Yeah, I figured that EMP would go after this as well, but, you know, I mean, now he has enough magic power, he could make that play more appealing. I think he should go for it. Yeah, now that you have the heal spell, it definitely makes more sense to go there if you want to get a grind going. All right, we'll see what Metal Dream has in mind now that he's gotten a few levels thanks to those two uh, Armor Knight kills. Looks like EMP is not still not going to go for it. We'll see what Metal Dream's got in mind as he's back to Cole. Looks like he's going to stock up on more equipment here. Now, I didn't see if Metal Dream purchased a Dragon Scale or not. He did, and he equipped it. I saw okay. him do it. So both runners have equipped the uh, Dragon Scale then. Very good. I'm always on the lookout for that just to get irritated when I'm a tracker. <laughs> right? And hey, look at this. EMP's got enough gold to buy the half play. That'll be a nice boost in his uh, defense right there. Yeah, EMP is now defense breaking wolves. So if they are to back attack him, their damage range on him will be very low, like zero to seven or something like that. Yeah, something like that. All right, so EMP decision time. Is he going to continue to grind here in the desert or will he go for the spike tile back in Swamp Cave? Or will he try to do some further exploration past that area through Swamp? Let's see what Metal Dream decides to do. Is he going to go back for the AK-47s? You would think that's what he's going to go for, but he may go for the out. But I think he's going after the AK-47s again. No, he's not. All right, he is escaping. He's going to try to do some exploration. Let's see what EMP decides to do. Well, first, he's got to get past this Magic Drake. I mean, with Metal Dream's MP, it would almost make more sense for him to fight in the wolf zone. And with EMP's MP, it makes more sense for him to go to the AK-47 grind. Exactly. We'll see what EMP has in mind. I think, I think he is going for uh, the exit as well. Yeah, I think my top priority right now would be wanting to find Hawksness. Because yeah, there could potentially be a better grind there. You know, Axe Knights, maybe. Green Dragons, maybe. All right, so uh, no grind for either player. They emerge out of Swamp. So exploration luck could be a factor here for both runners. Meanwhile, this Wraith Knight, more than enough for EMP to get level 9. Suspect apprehended on Metal Dreams to side. 12604. Another nice boost in attack, power, and agility, but that's about it. Ooh, AK-47 back attack. That's no bueno. He's going to have to hope for a low roll or the heal. And no, nope, it's a 40. Back to start he goes. He got a little unlucky there with those rolls from the Armored Knight. I mean, at 44 defense, Armored Knight can roll low 40s maximum. So Armored Knight rolled high both times. Kind of makes you wonder who he's got money on in this seed. I mean, Metal Dream's already taken out two of them, and EMP just got has been back attacked twice. I maintain Armored Knights are paid actors in Charlotte. I think you're right. That's fact. That is fact as uh, Metal Dream gets level 8 on his side with the big boost in MP. We'll see if that red dragon encounter for Metal Dream influences his decision making at all. Oh yeah, for sure. Meanwhile, EMP, now that he has the heal spell, is gonna try to go through Swamp. It could be a big nothing burger though. Wolf Lord's a nice enemy to use uh, the Hurt Moron. I think Metal Dream may be going for the grind. 
And look at this. Hey, Omega, I've got some more swamp land to sell you right here in the northwest uh, uh, land. <laughs> Somebody must have turned on the sort of big swamp flag. We've seen a lot of it. Oh, yeah. And Metal Dream is going to be sent back to start again. I think he got back attacked, so he really can't do anything about that. Blue Dragons have Stop Spell. That's actually pretty good once we have enough attack power. They, they potentially could be worth something. I'm trying to remember where Metal Dream got that Red Dragon encounter. I'm really curious to see if we have a potential bottleneck. Oh, yeah. Let's see if Metal Dream, if he decides to go back to the Armor Knights or if he decides to go for the grind, uh, he tried the exploration. He may go for the Armor Knights again. EMP getting through that part of the Swampland and can use the Hurt more on the Spectre. Why not? They're worth a nice 47 points. And yep, Metal Dream's going to go for the AK again. Land two Hermores, that's 172 points. Yeah, I was going to say it makes perfect sense to take out at least one Armored Knight here since he's, he's got just it. short of level 9. Very nice for Metal Dream. There's a Werewolf for EMP. He'll have a chance to get a Hurt more off. One shots are possible, and he does get the one shot. 95 points. Level 9 there for Metal Dream. To get to level 10, we need to get to 1,500 points. Oh, that's a dead end for EMP at Droll Magi. That'll be a good or hurt more target there. Oh, Metal Dream gets back attack, so he's not probably going to get this one. He may if it's a low enough roll. And it is. If he connects, he's got it. 172 more points. Boy, this is neck and neck in the experience race. Yeah, I don't blame Metal Dream at all for sitting on this grind. I mean, there's just... We're not seeing much of anything on this map. We got the initial coal in a couple caves, and that's basically it. Yeah, we haven't seen any of the other towns as well, and uh, Metal Dream has a chance for another Hurt more here. Connects again, another 172 points for Metal Dream. But look at this for EMP, a nice Magic Wyvern here, which is a guaranteed one-shot kill. That'll give him another 83 points. And that is going to be level 10. He'll be the first to level 10. Three... Seven, 14, nine. Still no heal more though. Stats are looking pretty good for level 10. We're almost at enough HP to take on the Dragon Lord, strangely enough. And Absolutely, and Metal Dream also getting to level 10. He'll see that nice little boon in HP and MP. But we're seeing a lot of dead ends on EMP side. This might be a death warp for uh, Metal Dream. Yeah, this is a death warp. Axe Knight. Runs away. I think he's out of MP. Yeah, he's out of MP, unfortunately. That's the way the game works. It's just as soon as you're out of resources, in comes the Axe Knight and everything you want to see with Hurt more. Yep, because the game knows. Here's a gold man, but he is back attacked. Luckily, they don't do that much damage at 47 DP. We see a lot of forest. Oh, we see a town here on EMP side. Can he get there? He does get there. It is Garenham. This could potentially be a nice find here. He's going to restock up on herbs. He'll uh, refill as well. Now, because he doesn't have any keys, he won't be able to raid the treasury. But we'll see what's in the shop. Could buy a large shield if it's on offer. It is not, but there is a small shield, so that's a consolation prize. Now, if there is a gold grind in Tantagel Castle, the Silver Shield might be an option for both runners. Oh, definitely. And as we continue to see, like, nothing on the map, I fully expect we're going to get a cluster of locations happening shortly. Oh, yeah, for sure. Metal Dream back to the uh, Armor Knight grind, and so far it's been going well for him. EMP. If I had to guess, I would say that Metal Dream will sit here till heal more, and then he'll just start pushing. Yeah, it depends on how good or bad the exploration goes for EMP. Because eventually Metal Dream's going to have to do the same exploration. Oh, well, it's easy. Just go the right way. <laughs> right? Another one-shot kill on a werewolf for EMP. But Metal Dream's starting to pull away on that experience. 
seen a lot of dead ends yeah this is exactly if you know if metal dream makes the right turns emp so far has made a lot of wrong turns oh no he's back attacked by an ak-47 and luckily gets a low roll so he could get the hurt more off does he nail the shot for, yes fortunately for emp the overworld so far hasn't been looking too bad like he didn't see that red dragon that metal saw earlier that has helped him because at 59 agility, your odds of running are not that good. Oh, a swing and a miss on the uh, Hurtmore there for Metal Dream, so he will not get that 172 points. EMP will use the sleep on Stone Man. I don't blame him. You don't want to run fail because they do hit like a truck. And Jake Hoper is correct in chat. Hurt is guaranteed to hit a werewolf. Um, I don't know what the percentage one shot is for hurt more on them, but it is pretty high. It's, I, I feel like it's similar to an Axe Knight one shot. No, nah, that's less. It's 53 to 70 HP. I mean, you have a good chance, but it's a little less of a chance than it is uh, an Axe Knight. But better than a Green Dragon. Yes, because Green Dragons have 54 to 72 HP. EMP finds a cave. Metal Dream continuing his Armor Knight grind. Here's an Axe Knight. Should be able to get a good one-shot kill on it, provided you hit it. 61's good enough. That's another 130 points. Metal Dream, the first to level 11. 10 power, 2, 5, 6, still no heal more. And what do we have in this cave? It is the Jerk Cave. We have found the Jerk. So the stats are actually looking really good for level 11. Like, I feel like this this might be a seed where we head into overpowered territory by the time we find everything, since Healmore's coming so late. Oh, no question about it here, Omega. So far, so good for the exploration. Another chance for a werewolf for EMP. Get 63. Again, enough to take down the werewolf. Another 95 points, but Metal Dream... There's level 11 for EMP. He'll be disappointed, no heal more still. He's got 21 MP left. Might head back for uh, Garen Hammer. Uh-oh, a blue dragon. Does escape. He's about a two and three chance to run from a blue now at this agility. Yeah, they have stop spell. We don't know if they have anything else at this point. So depending on if they have anything nasty, may or may not be a potential good grind later. And more to the point, it looks like EMP will survive his trek back to Garenham for the refill so he can push onward here. No, the, he's, nope, that's he's going to Garenham. This is Hawksness. <laughs> Fake Garenham. Oh, uh, that could have been nice if it was a town, but it is uh, Hawksness. What do we have? A blue dragon. Remember, they have Stop Spell, and he's going to go for the double hurt more here. I don't blame him. Get 61. He's going to try to attack him the rest of the way. He's up to 78. Stop Spell hype. There's 91, and that's 180. Do we have anything? Oh, it's a Zonk. It's a Whammy. There's nothing there, Omega. Well, it's one location off his checklist, but yeah, that's definitely not what you're hoping for in a seed like this. He's probably hoping more than anything to get Erdrick's armor Ooh, off that. Can we get a metal slime down? They're uh, very evasive. Nope. Nothing doing for EMP. And Metal Dream's going to find that same swamp land. Yeah, Metal Dream's going to experience all the same disappointment here. Oh, yeah, easily. Well, EMP's out of resources, so he's going to have to try and get make his way back to Garenham if he can if he wants to continue his exploration if he can do this without dying you know he may gain an advantage on uh metal dream Ooh, wolf lords have stop spell you love to see that able to two shot it no problem there blue dragon for metal dream is able to escape from it yeah this must be Garenham again for emp yep he's made it back the real Garenham, unlike that fake one to the right. Right. Almost has enough gold to buy that uh, full plate. We did see that there was full plate here in uh, Garenham. Yeah, that would nudge his defense up enough to defense break Wyverns. Oh, yeah, easily. Now he's going to go south of Garenham, hope to find some towns. Because there's definitely going to be some caves behind both uh, Tantagel and Garenham. The only question is which ones. You know, we haven't seen... 
Mountain Cave, haven't seen Tablet Cave, haven't seen The Grave. <laughs> Watch them both be vanilla. Here's a town in the Swampland, and it is... Ooh, Cantlin! Well, the problem is we can't buy keys, but we may be able to buy, find a large shield. How about it? Do you sell it? You do! And to answer Jake Hofer, uh, Derenham had a small shield and a silver shield, but no large. Yep, so EMP gets the best thing that money can buy up to this point. There's another town, but how to get there? Uh-oh, this is where EMP's luck runs out. He finds the fun police, and he fails to run away. We're code four here. Yeah, not only do you have to get through that zone with the red dragon, but you also have to walk through a ton of swamp, because of course you do. Yep. Once you hit the fun police, that's when the fun stops. The fun is over. That's right, Yogi. I mean, if Healmore comes at 12, Metal Dream has a pretty nice advantage whenever he gets over there. 5-5-3 five, five, Radiant. Radiant spell. Still no Healmore, though, for Metal Dream. He's the first to level 12. Next level is at 41-25. This could come down to who finds a Rumaldar first or a key. Metal Dream has nothing to complain about. He got light more. Yeah, that, that would help me because uh, I don't know my way around dungeons to save my life. I need the light on. I personally like it. Um... Of course, it has more utility if you play with the dungeon rotation flag on or if you do stair shuffle. Oh, now he has no luck running away from this blue dragon. He finally escapes. He'll have to burn a couple of heals. Meanwhile, Metal Dream has found Garenham. He will not have... He will be able to buy the small shield if he would like. I would imagine he will. This is definitely one of those seeds where you want to... Cast heal frequently. Wraith Knight, this is a good uh, hurt more target. But it's a swing and a miss. Goes for the second swing, but this time connects. Metal Dream does get his small shield at Garenham. Gotta love those frustrating 3 and 16 resists. Oh, yeah, easily. We have found the left edge of the continent. Spectre down for EMP. Metal Dream working on his exploration. I think Metal Dream is somewhere over kind of by Hawksness right now. I think you're right. I think he's about to make his way around that loop. That will take him to Hawksness. He does go left, so he's actually taking a different path than EMP did. Or is he taking the same path? No, he might be taking the same path. I remember I remember this area now. Yeah, it was that the winding, yeah. awful that's, dead end that's path. That's right. Let's find a rogue scorpion. This will be a nice one hit kill for 70 points. Another 47 for EMP. be getting back attacked by that uh, golem so i'll have to use another heal spell plenty of resources left and now we've got multiple bridges and branching paths yeah pick a path any path yeah this is one of those seeds where if you pick the wrong path your opponent might sneak in and take it away from you This has a very strong routing seed feel to it. Well, there's a green dragon on Metal Dream side. We haven't seen one of these yet. Does he get the one shot? He does not get the one shot, so he'll just chip it away with the copper sword. Down it goes. And he'll find the jerk cave as well. And hey, look, there's even more swamp. <laughs> yeah, right? So, runners, I heard you like Swampland. I have some more Swampland to sell you. 
All right. EMP has found the town of Rimmeldor. No, it's Breckenary. Everybody's favorite. It's the Motel 6. The Castle 6 will leave the light on for you because it's Breckenary. We want to see Rimmeldor, but this ain't Rimmeldor. It's Breckenary. I mean, it's a cheap refill, and he was down to about 30 MP, so it is actually useful in this case. Yeah, I'm telling you, that other town has got to be... It's got to be Rimmeldar, now that I think about it. Uh, I think that's the only town we've not seen. That is correct, and it's... Yep, it's Rimmeldar. Looking like it's in it the... Is. Looks like it's probably in the most inconvenient spot imaginable. Yep. You, you knew it was coming, though. The game, no, oh, no. EMP, he gets away from the cops. Only to find a dead end. Oh, no. And then he's like, up. Oh, got you cornered. And he's able to escape him again. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> he escapes. But it's like, oh, you thought you could get away from me. Not getting away this time. I'm calling for backup. One more chance. Oh, and he escapes again with his life. Oh, barely outran the cops that time. Ooh. Meanwhile, Metal Dream is now in Hawk's Nest. His EMP will have to use his heal to get the, that HP back. This time it's a demon knight. EMP is basically one in three to run from red dragons right now. So I'm pretty surprised he didn't take a death there. Me neither. Oh, and Metal Dream's not so lucky with the Hurt More on Blue Dragons. Because it's usually like a 50-50 by default, but does get the Hurt More off. Gets the 180, but sees there is nothing on the spike tile in Hawk's Nest. And now the question is, can Metal Dream survive on his walk back to Garenham? A lot of bridges here uh, where EMP is. Oh, can't run away from this demon knight. This time he does. Another demon knight for EMP. Metal Dream does make it back to Garenham. This is one of the most desolate maps I've ever seen. I agree. You know, I've done a lot of commentary for Dragon Warrior Randomizer. Maybe not as much as some people, but yeah, I've, there's a lot of bareness to this particular uh, overworld. Like, I feel like EMP's been walking around the map for well over five minutes now, just doing new exploration, and he hasn't seen anything other than Breckenary. It's almost like he's on the Oregon Trail where you have to make it through hundreds of miles just to make it to the next landmark. That's what this feels like. Oh, there's a cave. And Yogi with a good question. Did he ever go back to that town across the river? No, and that town has to be Rimmeldar. Oh, this is Tablet Cave on EMP side. So we now know that uh, the two uh, caves in um, both Garenham and Tantagel, we don't know which order, it's got to be the two difficult ones, Mountain and um, Garen's Grave. All right, so what do we have in the chest? Fairy water. So this is amusing. So since EMP found Breckenary, he does have full knowledge. He does know that that... That one town we saw a while ago across the water where he took a death to the red dragon in that swamp zone, that it has to be Rimmeldar. Axe Knights have hurt more. And that might take him out, and it does. The 58, a low roll was not enough, and he is sent back to start. Oh. Meanwhile, Metal Dream has found uh, Canlan. He's going to buy that same large shield. And yes, Lord of the Synth also raises a good point that the only way to get keys in this seed is, it is. to get to Rimmeldar. It is indeed. So EMP knows where it is. He just has to get there. Metal Dream does not know yet. Yep, we just saw Tablet Cave, Jay Coper. EMP was there. It was a fairy water. Yeah, and Mountain Cave and Grave are key locked in Garenham and Tantagel in yep. some order. 
for sure. Well, how do we get there, though, is the question. I mean, look where it is. You can't get there from the north. So do you have to find a loop to get there from the south? This is a crazy map. I want to see what this map looks like zoomed out. So I have a question. Do you think that the only way to get there is down in that area EMP was in where you have to go across bridges to the right? Maybe. And if that's the case, that death looms even larger. It's also just terribly disgusting as a runner, knowing that you have to go all the way around and down and through all this awfulness to get to the town that you absolutely have to get to. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, maybe they can borrow a raft from Legend of Zelda. That would be... That would be a lot quicker. Ooh, Metal Dream finds an armor knight. He'll be able to take it down with these if he connects. And does. That's going to be level 13 for Metal Dream. He'll be the first one there. Six. One. Six. Six. Return still. No. Heal more. <laughs> and we almost had the ultimate evil level up there, Omega. Yes, we did. And Bubbles is saying, can they not get around Charlotte there? No, uh, the start is this, it's kind of this isolated island type of weird setup in the middle. Yeah, I think of it as Exile Island. That's what I like to call it. So they're forced to go through the Swamp Cave and then take this just painful walk of awfulness. Yep. If you want to get keys, you have to make it a long, 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 long way. I think EMP is on the right track here. Whoa, Metal Dream has found it! Rimmeldar! So you know that town that we saw? I think that was actually Cole. Yeah, From the other man. side. Old man memories. Yep. There you go. So, Mantle Dream's way out in front. He's now way out in front. Shame on chat for misleading me. I'll never trust chat again. Well, you never think about it because we never saw the town across from Cole because we, you know, it wasn't in range. It was never in range. We were all misled. Mantle Dream was not. He, right now, I know we're only 41 minutes in. He's in the catbird seat. Hey, we got the two-for-one special, Omega. You, you spend two keys to get a key back. Obviously, it's the best-case scenario. And yes, Artorius, I briefly trusted chat. Briefly. So there you go. Look at this. EMP doesn't realize how close he was to that town. Because you know what? This is Tablet. EMP just, just did not go in the right direction after getting out of Tablet. He needed to go north. And he went east. Yeah, that's, that is a thing that is very painful. And it's also a thing we've all experienced when we run this game is just you're, you're like a step or two away from seeing something that you absolutely need to get. Yeah, EMP doesn't realize how close he was to Rimmeldar. I mean, he, he, he needed to go to Albuquerque and he went to San Jose instead. Why there's a hashtag go the right way, guys. Exactly. And now that Metal Dream's got the keys, he just has to go back to Garanam, go back to Tantagel. We'll see if there is a gold grind. You know, if there's a gold grind, you know that Silver Shield's definitely in play. And it's pretty easy to get to as well, so it's like you may as well take it. EMP's back to Breconary to heal up. And another Armored Knight down for Metal Dream. He's at 4509. Need to get to 5625 for a level 14. Yep, Metal Dream has made it back to Kalen. Now he's going to see about if there are coordinates or not. 
totally sensible play to come back here and do this check too. Now you have to be careful because we don't have Erdrick's armor. We lose 15 HP every time we hit one of these trap tiles. EMP gets level 13 by taking down that green dragon. All right, let's see if there are coordinates tonight or not. No coordinates, so just one. There's just one curse belt in the seat, so there are no coordinates. So, uh, Gwalen, may you relax in peace with the Armored Knight because you ain't getting rescued tonight. Well, I guess we know that the treasury, grave, and mountain are extremely important. Yeah, they are very, uh, they very much are um, going to be valuable. And EMP has found Rimaldar, so this race is looking pretty dead even to me. Oh, you're absolutely right. Yeah, now EMP didn't, you know, lose all that much time. So you're absolutely right. This is definitely still a race. But you still have to give the advantage to Metal Dream for finding it first. I mean, the, the experience is pretty close. It's 255 points. That's one Metal Slime. Yeah, I'd say it's it's a modest advantage. I, I mean, I said dead even. I, I stand by dead even because the, the experience is so close together here. It's, eh. It's like a couple of fights. And EMP will get Cantlin shortly, too, and do his check. And, but you gotta imagine that both of the treasuries and the mountain cave and the grave are gonna be very lucrative. Looks like EMP or is not. going to head back to Tantagel Castle, check the treasury, uh, but oh, we got the NPC boss. Oh, we let him through. Let's see what we have in these chests. Curse belt, that tells us nothing. The sword for EMP. The death necklace for EMP, and there's hey, there's your uh, there's your uh, NPC boss. Finally, lets him through. What is in that final chest? Do we have a gold grind? We don't. It's wings. So silver shield not in play tonight. It could still be in play if we have a gold chest underneath Tantagel. We can have the slightly offbeat, grab your gold in the cave, cast outside scenario. True. True. Metal Dream though is going to go the other way to Garenham to do his checks. All right. The EMP basically saves like a minute over Metal Dream by not checking Cantlin hilariously yeah, enough. If he ne yeah, if he never checks Cantlin, he'll be for the better. You're absolutely right. What do we have? It is Mountain, so the grave is vanilla. There's a key refund for Metal Dream. Finds a torch. Finds the stones. So Metal Dream finds a part of the p puzzle pieces as well. So both of the areas, as I mentioned, were lucrative. So here's a thought. Depending on where the armor is, Metal Dream could lose more time here by full clearing oh, grave. Or how about he can lose more time from run failing from a golem at 67 agility? How about that? Well, at least it's under start, so... It's not the worst thing in the world. Very and there's flute. the flute up top in grave. Gold. So unless the armor's in Sherlock, the pyramid game is going to be canceled because we found every. We're going to be finding everything else. So the only way we could play the pyramid game is if armor is not not in any of these two caves. Uh oh, blue dragon from Metal Dream does escape. Yeah, EMP will give Mountain Cave another shot. Ooh, back attacked by the AK-47 is Metal Dream. Remember, we still do not have heal more, so he's going to have to connect on these hurt mores or he's going to be sent back to start. Nothing in the chest that tells us it was either a key or an herb. Well, the contents of these chests will determine whether or not EMP saves even more time because he might not have to... And there's the gold knight. He might not have to full dive grave depending on where armor is, if armor's in mountain, for example. It's definitely a risky play, but I actually like this play from EMP. I mean, you're right there. If it works out and you, we have like a real uh, grind to a halt to level ups on our agility, you know, that could be the difference between a melee of 50 and a melee of 48. Oh, and Metal Dream fails against a red dragon in the grave. He's sent back to start. Suspect apprehended. 
That is pretty painful. I mean, unless unless armor falls into a mountain by chance, um, he's gonna have to go back and re-dive grave. Yeah, he had four run fails in a row at 67 agility. That's a tough break. Now, EMP is continuing to grind at 17,000. Is he uh, giving himself an insurance just in case he dies? And he must be. He also very likely wants magic armor. Right, just in case Airdrix armor is not here. He, uh, Metal Dream gets his uh, Airdrix sword here at the Tantagel Treasury. Yeah, since Metal went through Garenham and into Grave, every chest is glitched on his side. Yeah, and remember, one of them had the uh, Death Necklace, so surely he must have it, right? Correct. All right. Oh, Blue Dragon on EMP's side, able to escape. So we have one chest left. What's it going to be for EMP? It's a magic key. So we know that means we know it's one of two things. That's a Armor. fighter's ring glitched, actually. So Mountain 5 is marginally useful. Ah, okay. So that means either the armor is in one of those two chests or it's in Sherlock. It's a, you know, it's a seven and nine chance that it's in the Sherlock, that armor. And this situation is a nightmare for the tracker with everything being glitched, but... Yeah, it would be a nightmare for me. That's why I don't do tracking. <laughs> I would be lost. But yeah, we, we do know that Metal Dream has the sword and death necklace since those were in treasury. But yes, EMP has both Silver Shield and Magic Armor money. Now, Magic Armor, if EMP is able to make the purchase, you will heal yourself one HP every four steps you take, and you have a reduction of damage on hurt spells and hurt more spells by one third. And Magic Armor is super oh, important. This. Metal Dream's doing the same grind. Yep. Yep, totally expected that. Um, yeah, magic armor is extremely valuable if you have a seed with Erdrich's armor and Sherlock. It's the thing that can easily tip the situation in favor of doing a single dive versus multiple dives with a separate armor dive. Now, the big question is, if you're in EMP's shoes, do you gamble that Deep Grave does not have the armor? Hey, look, we have the clothes! <laughs> Sorry, we're closed. If only we could pick up armor like that from a treasure chest, that would be hilarious. Hey, uh, McGrew, get to work on it. Have, like, token armors be behind uh, chests. Like, clothes and stuff like that. <laughs> that would be cool. Hey, look, a broadsword! Uh, who, who needs 1,500 gold? We could get a broadsword right here! That broadsword, clothes, all he needs is a silver shield to come up in one of the chests. Absolutely. Now, Metal Dream, we, he does have Erdrick's sword, by the way. We can light that up on his screen. Magic Wyvern down on uh, EMP's side. Yeah, EMP, you gotta imagine he's gonna be heading for, heading for Garenham. Right now, he still has all of his resources intact. He just has to get to that town. He's made it just a few more steps. He is there. He's in Garenham. He'll buy his silver shield. He'll buy his magic armor, and he's going to be in a pretty good position here. Meanwhile, Metal Dream also in the trading cave. Now, he potentially could be in grind and go mode if he believes the armor is not in the grave. Now, of course, he hasn't checked Mountain Cave yet. Or he has. Never mind. He's fully completed it. So it is decision time for Metal Dream. And with Sherlock right next door, it's it, it, I would say it is extremely tempting to just try to dive it and hope armor is in there. Although I personally wouldn't want to do that until I have heal more. Yeah, there actually was no um, magic armor here. It was the full plate that was here. No magic armor. There might have been another town. Maybe it was Cantlin that had the magic armor. There's the Stones of Sunlight for EMP. Yeah, I honestly don't remember where or if 
magic armor exists. I've paid more attention to the shield contents of the shops. Yeah, that's what I usually do as well, Mega. So EMP's now made his way to the grave. Remember, Metal Dream died to the fun police, so he was not able to check the last two chests. And, and EMP will, will have here. the EMP will have the same vulnerability without Healmore doing this dive too. Cor correct. Because we don't have Healmore, but we're getting close to level 14 on Metal Dream's side. I think this werewolf might do it. No, it won't. 5293. You need 5625. I read that as 5593 for some reason. Ooh, werewolves have heal. Kind of annoying, but that ain't terrible. Yeah, sometimes the feed gets a little blurry. It happens. Yep, but no worries. 95 points there for Metal Dream. He's on his way to uh, Garenham. He'll get his silver shield. And the difference with Metal Dream is he did not grind up to magic armor money. He just straight up ground for silver and full. So oh, he's yeah. going to upgrade here. Yeah, he's going to buy his full plate here. I'll tell you what. We'll probably see a second grave dive here, too, out from, of Metal you, Dream. You think Metal Dream's going to do it? If that's the case, that's going to negate any potential advantage or deficit. He's not. Very interesting. Uh oh, but here comes the fun police for EMP. Oh boy, can he escape? Oh no. Oh no. One more chance. He gets away. I would say that's rather fortuitous for him. Oh, it very much is. I mean, if if the armor is here, if the armor is here, he's got a massive advantage on Metal Dream. I don't see him going back anytime soon. If it's not here, though, Metal Dream's got the advantage. There's the armor! Oh my goodness, how the tides have changed, Omega. I mean... I'm sure Metal Dream is going to go back and re-dive. It looks like he's very likely just doing trades right now, and perhaps by the time he gets back there, he might be at or very close to 15, and he right, might get right, the right. heal more before he sees those reds again. Yeah, we'll see what he's got in mind. We'll see what he's got in mind. But EMP is the first to get Erdrick's armor. Erdrick's armor means you no longer take any damage from the swamp tiles or those 15 HP trap tiles. Um, you are completely uh, you're completely protected from stop spell. You gain one HP every step you take, and also dragon breath. The damage is reduced by one third, both baby breath and DL2 breath. You know, speaking of uh, dragon breath, we haven't seen any variety so far. That is crazy. Yeah, and now is. that I've said it, and now that I've said it, I probably jinxed it. Well, I mean, there's there's still a chance we might see it from something like a golem, although having the fairy flute in hand, you can neutralize them easily that way. Um, I don't know if we've seen wizards yet or if we've seen any abilities from them, if we have seen them. But with the silver shield, they can repel them. Oh, for sure. Now, of course, because the armor was here in the grave, that means, sorry, the 25,000 gold pyramid is canceled tonight. Sorry to disappoint you all, but them's the breaks. Oh no, but EMP got lost. He's went the wrong way. That that is uh, that's not it. That's Hawksness. We've seen people lose trade in caves in this tournament multiple oh, times. Oh, I've seen it happen a lot too. Oh no! And here's the fun police again, trying to get his revenge on EMP. And it's not letting him escape. One more chance. He gets away again on the last chance, Omega. Yeah, he's oh. he's a, he's a little bit under forty percent. He's probably like thirty six percent or something to run so, on them. So. so put so put a decimal point between the two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it bas like it's basically Dream. pie. It's basically pie. Yeah, looks like Metal Dream is going to go back. So this is going to be the right decision. 
Assuming he stays alive. Right. He could get stopped again by the red dragons. You never know. And Artorius asking, with this AP, you can damage race the reds. Uh, at 132 HP, if you go first, you definitely can damage race the reds. He's got 130 attack power, so... He can do a significant amount of damage and typically take out red dragons in three swings. And we see EMP pick up the drop, so he is officially grind and go. Yep, absolutely he is. EMP is back to camp, or Cole rather. He'll heal up, and now he'll probably grind on those AK-47s. And with that, he could he can he can gain on this experience. Of course, still no heal more, which stinks, but he can really even up this race depending on how long it takes Metal Dream to get to back to that chest. Well, Metal's coming up on it right oh, now. He so. had an incredible encounter luck. He's found the armor immediately. He's in grind and go mode too. So unfortunately for EMP, he's not really going to gain much. And then he misses on the hurt more just to add insult to injury. So right now, yeah, Metal Dream is definitely in a good position to win game number one. Yeah, he'll have, I would say this is probably worth about a one floor lead in Sherlock. I mean, he's he definitely has the edge, but uh, as far as like encounter rate cool. in Sharlock. Cool, you know what you get, key, but that's not enough to take it down. Uh, unfortunately, like a, a, it was a roll roll. Like a one floor lead. It's that's well within RNG and Sherlock, even if you don't assume somebody dies in there. It's like that's that's within encounter RNG. Yeah, the difference is a thousand. I mean, that's what six armor knights. That's a couple minutes. Yeah, it's like a floor and a half ish, depending on encounter rate, of course. I mean, if we get a little bit more agility here before Healmore shows up, we can break Axe Knight. Oh, yeah, for sure, because, you know, right now, Metal Dream at 91 defense. That's, that is a crazy amount of defense. Because you know what that means? We, we, that means that uh, DL2 can only melee us for up to 47. And we're already at 132 HP. Now, Dre the Death Necklace could come into play. Now, we're, we're you know, we're rolling 7 to 15 on, uh, on, on their sword right now. So we're averaging 11, and we have 11 heal more. So the math is not there just yet. I mean, it's doable on level 14. If you really wanted to take a chance, you would need some doubles, but it's doable. But they do have just enough HP to make use of that death necklace. Yeah, so the, they if, will be able to oh, win yeah. with it. Yeah, if the attack power flatlines, I, I can see this being a death necklace. See, this is a coin flip, though. But yeah, right now we don't have heal more. So you got to have to wait until at the very least level 15. At the very least, you got to wait until level 15. And we're basically circling back to the comment I made earlier that by the time Healmore comes, we're going to be overpowered. And, like, we have the stats right now. And if Healmore comes at 16, we could really, really have the stats. Oh, easily. Ooh, not enough there for EMP, but he'll be able to chip away now. And I think Metal died with, like, what did he have? Like, 40-something MP? He must have failed to heal or something in between fights. Yeah, he might have swung and missed on a hurt more. Yeah, that lead is actually growing on Metal Dream's side. Artorius said he got back attacked and didn't have enough HP. Well, yeah, that's that's why you gotta heal in between the fights. Since you don't have heal more, you gotta guard against that sort of thing. And this next uh, Armor Knight will give Metal Dream level 15 and possible go here if we get heal more. If no heal more, we have to go to 16. 2, 0, 2, 11. There's the heal more. That's go mode time. Because we now have, uh, what, 12 heal mores. We are running 8 to 16. We're averaging 12. We have 134 HP. We could put on the death necklace. Yeah, that's definitely go. Metal Dream in the catbird seat right now. Yeah, this this is a win with or without the death necklace. Uh, oh, yeah. Death, necla death necklace will speed up the fight a bit, so I prefer putting it on. But it honestly doesn't matter. 
Yeah, what would happen is if he puts on the death necklace, um, he'll get an extra 10 attack power. So 142 means uh, we're rolling about what, 10 to 21. So we're averaging 15 and a half. So, um, and we're still at about 100 HP. So yeah, Metal Dream is in a good spot right now. And kudos to Metal Dream for not making the mistake that Juf and I made in a weekly where we both put on the death necklace instead of popping the bridge. Oh yeah, that would be uh, rough because if you die with the death necklace on, uh, the king says one of my favorite lines in the Dragon Warrior series, thou hast fail and thou art cursed. Leave it once and you don't get healed. You only have one HP. Although fortunately in this case, you do have a town nearby at least, but I, I wouldn't like having to dive at 100 HP. No, I wouldn't want to either. And uh, EMP still needs three more axe or armor knights to get level 15. Yeah, so this is looking more and more like about a half dive lead. At this point, it would take a failed dive, I think, for Metal Dream not to win this one. Which anything is possible. I mean, he could get low rolls. Anything could happen. Question in chat, have you ever seen a race that was won without Erdrich's armor? No. I mean, unless runners were to agree not to get it, then no. It, it takes way too many extra levels to win without it. And that's because of the uh, DL2 breath doing as much damage as it does. Yeah, you're basically grinding until your HP is at least in the 140s. Yeah. Because it does over 70 without it. What What is the maximum it is? I, I actually don't remember what the numbers are. It'll be a 65 to 72 if you don't have Erdrick's armor. That's it, yep. So you want to have at least, what, 145? Yeah, you said 140, so yep, 145. So Metal Dream has made it to the U. Oh, he sprinkled fairy water on the armored knight, trying to finish it off. I think he's because he's out of resources. I think this is a death warp. Yeah. He was trying to die, and he, he can't die. Well, now he can. All right, Metal Dreams made it to the basement. Yeah, at this point, it would t have to take a failed fight for EMP to come back here. I mean, he's, he's kept it close, but just not finding... I, I think the key is was Rimaldar. I think the key was Rimbledar because, you know, EMP going north instead of east, that was the decision right there. Yeah, that definitely created that gap between them. And then I think he lost a bit more time during the grind somehow. Yeah. All right, so Metal Dream, and we have a green dragon on the spike tile. He's going to be able to two-shot that. So, yeah. We're going to go through a seed without seeing any Dragon Breath, you know, apart from DL2, because they're always going to have DL2 Breath. That's why we call it DL2 Breath. But this is something. I don't think I've ever seen a seed where there was no Dragon Breath of any type. That's nuts. Someone yeah, must have had it. We just never saw it. There's always a chance that something like a wizard had it, and we just right. never saw them. Exactly. They're just forgotten about in this situation. And... EMP enters about three minutes behind, so that tells you how fast the dive is when you have high defense and repel active. Now, also keep in mind, Metal Dream has to put on the death necklace, so now he is rolling 10 to 21. Unfortunately, he's not getting stop spell hype. He's getting nothing but hurt more, so that is going to hurt Metal Dream's chances. Another hurt more. Or as I like to call, you know, I haven't called it this, the, this entire tournament. That's nope more. There's the stop spell hype for Metal Dream. Yeah, it's herb more. All right, does Metal Dream get the first strike? He does get the first strike. That was important. He starts with a 20. Good roll. Oh, that is so tempting to go for the double. He can't do it, though. You have to play it safe. No reason to go for anything. This fight is about as free as it gets. He's up to 38 now, getting some good rolls.
54. I should also point out that red dragons were in the top zone of Sharlock. Another good roll, 72. He's averaged 18 so far, so 150 to 165 HP is what we're looking for. And Metal Dream right now in the catbird seat, in the driver's seat. Another good roll. He's up to 91. I'd like to mention that uh, so EMP is diving without repel on. He saw a wizard, and guess what it did? Breath. Hit him for 46. Of course. 104. One fifteen. Now the roll's being a little more modest, but at this point, it's inconsequential. This is a lock. One twenty-six. Yeah, as soon as he went first, this was pretty much a done deal. One forty-one. Next attack possibly could do it. All right, here it comes. 155, that is not up, but this is a guarantee, even if he rolls minimum. He doesn't know it. Maybe he's not counting, but he's gonna play it safe. This attack guaranteed will take it down for Metal Dream. 171, get your GGs out for Metal Dream, the number one seed. EMP put up a good fight, but Metal Dream is gonna take this one and he will be one win away from punching his ticket to the semifinals. An EMP right here in the basement. Very well run race by him. And the key moment, <laughs> of course, the key moment, getting Rimmeldar in this seed, he turned the right way and found it and did his exploration a bit faster because of it. Yep, and if EMP goes north from uh, that uh, cave, the tablet cave, he may have ended up winning this race i mean this is a good time that uh, metal dream just put up look at that 70 minutes and nine seconds very impressive yeah that's the very definition of a jet seed and we didn't know we were getting one in the beginning that's no for not sure. with not with the numbers that we were starting with but there's always a phrase i like to say um there omega it's not how a seed starts it's how it finishes and boy did it finish yeah once they got to that hurt more at what was that like level three Yep, that really sped things up. But yeah, I had to get to level 15 to get that uh, heal more. Otherwise, I think we would have seen these runners go at 14. Yeah, sometimes the game forgets to give you that one spell that you absolutely have to have to beat the game, essentially. Yeah, whether it's heal more or hurt more, you know it's always one of those two. And of course, he gets run failed on a, on a stone, man, as we do have our winner, our number one seed, Metal Dream, here in the commentator's booth with us, GG. A very hard fought and close race between you and EMP, but the difference was you found Rimaldar first, basically plain and simple. That was it. Well, thank you very much for the GGs. Yeah, Rimaldar was very far. I. Oh, I, yeah. I was very afraid to uh, actually find it last since yep. I... And I just... EMP could have found it before you. He was right there. He had found the Tablet Cave, and he go, and he, but he went east from Tablet Cave instead of north, and that's where Rumaldar was. Uh, that's too bad. It was so close. Just off screen. Just off screen. I mean, I mean, as Maxwell Smart would say, missed it by that much. Oh, and EMP gets back <laughs> attack to start off. I mean, I think he'll still be fine if he gets good enough rolls. Starts with a 19. Of course, he, you didn't get the double either, so it, it actually didn't really matter at that point. 33. Yeah, he shouldn't have any problem with this fight. No, not at all. 51. Yeah, he's getting some good rolls as well. Averaging 17 to start. You were averaging over 18 at one point. Yeah, the start was strong. It fizzled up after a while, but plenty of resources. Yep, 64. Yeah, his rolls aren't as good as you. He's averaging 16 right now. I mean, they're still good enough. 76. Now they're just starting to fizzle on him a bit as well. But he still should be in good shape. 91. That's going to end up being about a four or five minute race. Very close between you two. 
109. Yeah, he too has a lock barring a miss menu. His rolls have been good enough. Even if he min rolls the rest of the way, he'll get to 169, so he's fine. 120. 137. Now, if he rolls 18, he could swing away if he's been counting like I am. 156, that's not enough, but he's not been counting, so he's going to play it safe, but any anything is going to be enough to take down the Dragon Lord. Oh, is he going for... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he knows he's lost the race. He's going to try to put it to sleep, but it, I don't think that works. I think he knows he's got a lock. Is he, let's see if he goes for the... Uh, let's see if he goes for the uh, Yolo more. No. He'll just finish it off right there. Get your GGs out for EMP. Can you actually put it to sleep? It, or is it like a, like a 1 in 16 chance, or does it really not work? It's it's a 1 in 16. I've put him to sleep multiple times. So is Angel and a few ah, others. So he was, try, he was trying for the swag sl sleep, but unfortunately it just didn't work out. But get your GGs out for EMP. He put together a really good race, and he was, in my opinion, he was just one correct decision away from winning this race. Yeah, the the routing luck strikes again. It's 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 been a thing throughout the tournament, and it's unsurprising that it would be a factor at this stage of the game. Like oh, absolutely. everybody, everybody's so even at this point. Oh, absolutely. At this point, if you don't route perfectly against your opponent, it's very tough to come back from. As this time was seventy four minutes and fifty nine seconds, a difference of four minutes and fifty seconds. So yeah, very close race between these two. Absolutely tremendous job by both. We could get EMP in here for an uh, internet interview. All right. Um, correction. The time was 74 minutes and 49 seconds, not 59 seconds. We have EMP here in the commentator's booth with us. GG, great performance from you tonight. Very close throughout the entire race, but it came down to one decision in our opinions, and that was simply routing. You were very, very close to Rimaldar when you found the Tablet Cave, and you did find the Tablet Cave first, but you opted to venture east instead of north, and had you gone north, you'd have found Rimaldar, and maybe, just maybe, you'd have pulled off the victory tonight. You were that close. Yeah, as soon as I found Rimaldar, I was like, well, this one's over. I was surprised it was still as close as it was that I was on the final floor when... And the reason for that was Metal Dream died in Garenham the first time around, not far away from the armor. You had a great escape. And I'll tell you, you've had some you had some great escapes from the fun place. Twice, twice during your run, you were you had to do it on your last attempt and you got away from the fun place. So that helped you get back into it. But yeah, inevitably Metal Dream did decide to play it safe and go back into the grave. He found his armor and that put him in a position where it would take a failed dive for him not to win. And since that didn't happen, you came on out on the short end, unfortunately, tonight EMP. Well, that's gonna happen sometimes. I mean, I just chose to go down instead of right at Brackenary and that made all the difference. Absolutely. Now, uh, a question I want to ask you both. Now, Metal Dream, you opted to do early grinding on the Armor Knights, whereas EMP, you decided not to do that early grind. So, Metal Dream, what what made you decide to do an early grind on those Armor Knights in Swamp? To put it simply, I'm a dumb goldfish, and I immediately forgot I had herbs. So, after my three, four trips in a swamp, thinking I'm swamp locked and realizing I had herbs and there was a town over there and knowing my opponent that he's very good and a master explorer I had to try to cut my losses in some form of XP deficit so I made this I'm not sure if it paid out to go get herbs coal and then go in swamp kill two and then do it again but I and then when I saw that red in the channel coming on a swamp out i i thought i absolutely needed agility or heal more something to not just conveyor belt death non-stop oh, you know? for sure but then the game is like surprise we're not going to give you heal more until level 15. so emp what gave you your decision not to grind for the armored knights when you know when you knew you had opportunities with those hurt mores? 
I didn't think I had the agility and health combination to do it, and I wanted the half plate first, too. That, that, that definitely makes sense. You know, you both had your different decisions. I don't think either decision ultimately factored on who was going to win or lose this race. I Again, in our opinions, you know, you, you, you can throw out a lot of different things out there, but I, th I think it just had to do with the fact Metal Dream found Rimbledar first. That's basically plain and simple. I'll be on SEMP, like if you would have found Rimuldar first, I assumed that you went from the left going down. I did the opposite. I, I went clockwise and found Rim last and had to backtrack in all the towns to use the keys. If, uh, finding Rim first, it would hit everything and you would have destroyed me, I'm sure. Now, correct me if I'm wrong and I'll get back to you on this EMP Metal Dream. You didn't find any Dragon Breath enemies, did you? Not sure. Turns oh. out there was, because late in the run, EMP, you found a wizard that had DL2 breath. Otherwise, there was no dragon breath in the seed. Yeah, I immediately threw Repel back up. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> yeah, that got you just like, oh, that's a wake-up call. I need to get rid of these wizards. Yeah, I guess I didn't see a single yeah, one. Yeah, you didn't. We were seeing it on your side of the board. No wizards on your side, and um, at least one on uh, EMP. We'll, we'll see it come back again. Now, crits, we didn't see many of those. Only three on your side. I think I had a few on Magic Drakeys. Yep, just the one wizard. Yep, that one wizard was the mystery enemy that had DL2 breath. Otherwise, no enemies, at least no enemies that we saw had it you know there might have been enemies that had the dragon breath and we never saw them or we didn't see enough of them you had four crits so yep any event a jet seed for both of you i mean both of you played exceptionally well it just came down to who found rimbledar first and that happened to be you metal dream once you found it you pretty much turned on the afterburners at that point and um even though you took that death in the grave that was not enough for you uh, that was not enough for you to lose the lead on emp well, I, I think I'm very fortunate. I, uh, I'll take all the luck against EMP. I, I highly respect uh, how he plays and uh, what he's capable of. So I, I, I am very fortunate. Well, absolutely. Both of you played exceptionally well. I mean, you look at the, you, you look at how you played. You'll have to watch this one back. I mean, great job, both of you. Um, I think this is one of those series that potentially could go the distance once again. I mean, EMP, you had to do so against taking down the, the favored Arm Polly. And you're going to have to find a way to do it again against Metal Dream. But uh, I'm looking forward to see what happens in game number two. Which I believe is tomorrow. Oh, that should be a lot of fun. So, uh GG to you, Metal Dream, on taking the first game of this uh, quarterfinal matchup. And uh, EMP, um, you'll obviously be looking to tie it up tomorrow night. And we wish you both the best of luck in game number two. Mega, any questions for these two runners? Nope, I think you covered all of it. All right, well, thank you very much to you two for being here in the commentator's booth. And we do have our schedule right here. Tomorrow, the 14th, looks like we have a triple header here. Um, we have game number two between DK and Aaron to you two with Aaron leading one game to nothing in that best of three quarterfinal. And then we've got Metal Dream and EMP back at it tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern. That'll be game number two. And then we have a game number two between Big Slam Moo and and Ziggy in their quarterfinal. So three very exciting games coming up tomorrow here on either DW Randomizer or RPG Limit Break. So you'll want to be watching out for those. So anybody have any final thoughts? Um, for me, it's just a big thank you to everybody as usual um, to, uh, to put this together, to commentate, the track to restream uh, GG MP. I'm looking forward to another great match tomorrow. GG, you hope for a good match tomorrow too. All right, please make sure you give both of our runners, uh, EMP and Metal Dream, a follow. Absolute tremendous race tonight. They both played their hearts out. 
And uh, that's going to do it for us here on RPG Limit Break. I want to thank everybody for being here and thank you for everybody for being involved. So uh, thank you very much to Lord of the Synth for being our restreamer. Thank you for Destiny of a DW for being our tracker. And of course, thank you very much, Omega Strep, for being my commentator partner for tonight's race. Until next time, I'm LZ Cards Fan 23. Have a great rest of your evening, and we will see you again tomorrow night for more exciting quarterfinal action of the Dragon Warrior Randomizer Tournament. Good night, everybody.